In this video, we are going to discuss how to delete or clear the screen or clear the memories of the calculators. Let's start with the delete key. Let's say we would like to perform these calculations. So this is what we key in. And after we insert the data, we realize that we make a mistake here. This is supposed to be minus, but uh, we mistakenly tapped the divisions. Okay, so to correct this, we just want to delete this divisions and then uh, replace it with uh, minus. So what we need to do is to use the navigation key here, uh, move the cursor right before this divisions. So let's try to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so after moving the cursor right before the division, then we can use the delete keys to delete this uh, divisions and then insert the minus okay so that's how we make the corrections by just delete one character and then replace it with the correct one okay we have another buttons called the ac buttons or the all clear buttons which we can use it to clear everything on the screen except those icons uh, at this line here okay so for example we insert these data and then later on we found that uh, this is not what we want. So we can clear everything by just tap on this AC button. Okay, so this is all clear. Some users realize that they can also use the on button, the buttons here, to clear the screen. So what's the difference between using the on buttons and the all clear buttons? Now, your calculator is a very sophisticated calculator. It records your calculation each time when you tap on this equal key and then put it into the history. For example, um, I have done a few calculations. If I would like to see what have been done, then I can use this up arrow key to check the histories of the calculations. Okay, I have calculated sine 56 degrees just now, and before that, I find the values of 6 factorial, and before that, 84 multiplied by 9, and then uh, the last one is 2 plus 3 equal to 5. Okay, now if we tap on these on buttons, the screen will be clear, and the history also will be clear. If we tap on this up arrow key and check, you will find that the history is no longer there. So that's the difference between the on buttons and the all clear buttons. The all clear button just clear the screen, but the on buttons clear the screen and the histories of the calculation. The clear functions. Above these nine buttons, you can see the CLRE stand for clear. Uh, this can be used to clear the setup and the store memory in your calculator. Before this, we learned that the setup and the store memories are long-term memory. It will be in your calculators even though the calculators is switched off. So what can we do if we would like to clear it? And the answer is by using the clear functions. So now let's have a look at the screen here. From this screen, we can see that the calculation has been set to complex number and the uh, unit for angle has been set to uh, radians. So this is set under the setup. And then as you can see this uh, capital letter M here, this shows that there are some numbers of variables stored inside uh, this um, long-term memory here, the red colors capital letter, okay? So uh, let's say we would like to clear the setup. So what can we do is to tap on this shift and then clear. Okay, the calculator asks us whether we would like to clear the setup or the memory or all of them. Let's say uh, we would like to just clear the setup. Okay, so we tap on one and then the, they would like us to confirm uh, whether we really would like to clear the setup. Okay, so we tap equal for yes or AC for cancel. In this times, we would like to clear it. So yes. Okay, um, so press this AC key to complete. Now, you should realize that the radian has been changed to degree. This is the default unit. And then the complex disappear, okay, because it has been clear. However, uh, the M is still here. It shows that uh, the memory is still inside the calculator because we just cleared the setup. So if we would like to clear the memory, uh, so we do the same thing again, shift, clear, and this times we would like to clear the memory. So two, um, again, yes, and complete. 
Okay, if you realize that the M disappear, okay, it shows that uh, there's no more stored memory inside this uh, calculators. Okay, um, let's see another example. In this case, uh, we have some memory in the calculators and then we have set the calculations to a matrix and the unit of angle is gradient and we would like to clear all of this. So this times we choose uh, clear all. Okay, so three and then yes. Okay, you should realize that the M disappear, the matrix disappear, and the units of angles change back to degree, and then the calculation is mathematics. Okay, so that's how we clear uh, the setup and the memory in the calculators.